going on everybody? It's your guy DJ Marv here, back with your 8x8s. We're here at I'm a Space, and I'm sitting with the one and only Mr. Sherrod Tate. How you doing, brother? I'm doing great. Chilling, chilling. Good to see you, man. Well, I got him here. I'm asking a few questions just for you guys. So, how long you been dancing? Uh, professionally since about 2013. 2013. How old are you? I'm 24. I just turned 24. 24. Just turned 24. What are you talking about? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, how's the life? Is life is good right now? Life is great. It's very challenging, but you know, nothing that I can't handle and I got, didn't ask for, so. Got you, got you. So this is 2019, the year just started. It's the third month so far. What have you worked on within these three months? Um, at the top of the year, I did uh, Empire. Okay. Um, shout out to my friend, Brandon Jones. Hey. Thank you, in Jamaica. Um, I did, uh, I got booked for Brandy at the Kennedy Center. Okay. Um, and then I did uh, Jane the Virgin. Word. Yeah. Big things. Big, this guy's up to big stuff. Three months in and he already did three big jobs. That's crazy. Congratulations, man. Um, so right before we actually, the camera started rolling, we were talking and you were saying your friends in high school know something that most people don't know. So <laughs> let's get into this situation. Okay, so like all of my friends in high school knew that I was very like, uh, just obsessed with, with Will and Janelle with their creativity, with the viral videos, mm -hmm. with the choreography. So I would literally like, like me and my best friend at the time, Melissa, we would stay up all night, learn every one of the videos that they posted, and we would teach it to our whole dance class. And you know, it would be like a whole thing. So Whoa. and that happened, that like lasted for like two years, like like 20, okay, okay. 12 to 14, 11 to 13. Word. So you were a fan before or, or a supporter. I like I to say supporter. Yeah, I was. You were a huge supporter yes. before you even got in part uh, to be a part of the company. Like since like the day on day. Like, word. Yeah. Word. If you could choose someone or anything, what inspires you or who inspires you most to dance? Mm, can I say two people? Yeah. It would have to be Michael and Janet Jackson. Gotcha. Absolutely. Gotcha. And why? Um, Michael and Janet were the first two. I was born in, in 1995, so you know they were the first two to really like um, introduce me to it commercially, like through videos. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we grew up on videos. Exactly. It wasn't the YouTube we thing, it was music videos. Yeah. So you know, my first like uh, recollection of dancing was like doesn't really matter or you rock my world all for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was like my inspiration for like dancing in the background. You know what I mean? So yeah. that was just that was my driving force. I was like, oh my god, like I I love to dance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you could tell anybody out there any source of information or any source of uh, knowledge to becoming a dancer and being someone in the industry, how what would you what would you tell somebody that's wanting to get into this industry? I would tell someone that wants to get in the industry to love it first, and not just love it, but be in love with it. So I say that because okay, it's like you know when you're in love with someone, mm -hmm. you want to know the good, the bad, you know, stuff that they have never told anybody, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You want to yeah. know all of it. And mm -hmm. that's how I view dance, not to just love it, but to really be in love with it so you can, you know, train in ballet, in jazz, in hip hop, and whatever it is, you could just know that, like, you don't have to be the best at everything. It's like if you're in love with somebody, you don't have to love everything here, yeah. but you got to love it to a certain extent because you're in love with that person. Exactly. You know exactly. what I mean? So that's how I view dance, and that's what I would say for everybody to be in love with the first. And just to do your research and, you know, just to be a sponge to everything and just try to just be open to learning. Just be open to learning everything. You never stop learning. Perfect. So he's saying, fall in love with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes. Yes? What does it mean to you to be a part of IMA? Wow. It, it, to be a part of IMA means... It's like kind of hard to explain because this was like one of my, like I know it's gonna sound so corny, but you know, so it was like one of my biggest dreams to like be in the family with Will and Janelle because I admired them for so long without, like I just, like I never had plans on moving to LA or like it was never that. I just always would see them, you know, from a, a computer screen, you know? Exactly. So it's like seeing them now, them knowing me by name, me working with them, like me loving them, them loving me, it just, it's just so surreal. So mm -hmm. it, it means more than just dance, it's like, um, Family. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like a family that I never thought I would have. So it's amazing for me. Or, um, and that, one more thing. Now that you said, you know, you live in Atlanta, you also live here. How is that? Because a lot of dancers want to know, oh, do I have to just get up and move to LA and just stay in LA and try to work my butt off? But you actually live in two different states and you work in two different states and you, you're all over the place. So how, do, how does that work? Um, It works well for me because I started in Atlanta and luckily like Atlanta does have a lot of work and I have a lot of great people that I trained under. And, you know, I have um, 
really gained a lot of great connections there. Um, so whenever I'm in Atlanta, I stay with family, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm here, I have my own place here. Gotcha. But it's, it's very, um, it's like it's challenging, but it's like uh, it's fulfilling living in both because you get to really see like you know like a, like a lot of people have a lot of opinions about stuff they they don't really know or haven't really been through. Mm -hmm. But it's like I literally see what Atlanta people see on YouTube. I literally see what people in LA like the the funk and the rawness in Atlanta. Like I'm in that, you know yeah. what I mean? So it, it's just, I think for me it's just beneficial being in both cities. You know I'm just able to. It's not really a, a, anything that I lose. I'm more gaining from both. Or, you know what I mean? So. Or, and I, and I get the training at like both uh, both feelings, gotcha. you know, so it's it's good. And it's just it's a whole nother vibe on both sides. It's a sure. whole nother vibe. I'm, it's I'm like sure. more, more of like a like a profession. Let me not say, not, let me not say professional, but you know, it's, it's Hollywood here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so Hollywood and in Atlanta is not about, you know, the cameras and stuff. It's just mm -hmm. about the feeling. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So okay. it's, I'm really blessed to, to get both sides because it's needed. It's Word. both it's, sides are very I've needed. been to Atlanta twice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to come out there, but yeah, I gotta get that. Yeah. But yeah, man. Yo, that's your ride take. I'm DJ Marv, 8 by 8 We're here at I'm a Space Peace Network. Make sure you check the rest of this interview out and everybody else we got coming to you. Thank you for coming through, brother. Uh,